Seems there was yet another mix-up in this story of me as manager of Everton. Uh, I was telling the telling the team that um, I thought there was still life in the season yet, and then one of them started saying something about his brother's modelling at an art school, and I ended up here. I, I don't know what that's about, but um, it's funny that actually, funny thing that uh, any time you guys are here on the channel. We always seem to be drawing. Yes, hello there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here bringing you episode 4 of our FM21 beta save, Nothing Lasts for Everton. And sorry about that little bit in the intro, not about the wordplay, that was supreme. Uh, I know the light kind of disappeared a bit there in the camera, I just don't think my desk lights are quite bright enough. So if you do have any recommendations for good but fairly reasonably priced lamps to light up my green screen, let me know down in the comments. But anyway, we're going to catch up on results and we're going to get straight into matches, a rare double header today. So last time you were with us, we had that draw again with Kokimbo Unido. We then had another draw the following week with Uchipato, that was 1-1. We took on Colo Colo again. This time, though, we couldn't hold them to a draw. It was a 2-1 defeat. Union Española frustration in this game, it has to be said. 2-2 was the final score, but we were 2-0 up. If I just bring it up here, you'll see how the goals went in. Apologies, we were not 2-0 up. We went behind. We then went 2-1 up, but they equalised late on with a few minutes left. So that was dropped points, especially, you know, when you look at our XG, I've been watching the old lady plays video on that. And they, sh it's not so much that we should have scored more. We were bang on with our two goals. That they should not have scored two. Then Palestino, this was another tough one, a two, three defeat away from home. And again, this was a game where we had the lead. Mina scoring early on, but um, it was 1-1 at half time. They hit us in the second half. We did pull one back late on, but it was too little too late. But again, if we look at the XG, 1.64. So obviously we've got a bit of a leaky defense problem in, in there. We're letting in more goals than we should be. However, since the Palestino game, we've gone unbeaten. We've put a mini run together. We played Deportes Iquique, our opponents also in the Chile Cup semi-final. Mina bagging a brace. Audax Italiano, a slight slip back here. This was the game where we were 2-0 up. You see there, Bravo and Robles, who was in the side, they put us 2-0 up. And then look at that, 83 minutes and 84 minutes we conceded. I mean, this time our XG was, you know, we shouldn't have scored two, but we shouldn't have conceded two either. Anyway, we then had the first leg of the cup semi-final. Pretty assured performance against Deportes Iquique. We beat them 3-0 this time. Madrid, Cuevas and Mina getting the goals. And that then gave us a bit of that confidence back in the league. Deportes La Serena were dispatched 2-0. Cuevas and Mina again. Then, quite a big result here. Universidad Católica, one of the biggest teams in the country... We beat them 2-0 away from home. This time it was Lizchuk, who sounds like he should be Polish, but he's not. He's Argentinian. And Cuevas getting the goals as we pulled off quite a shock win. So that means we're you know, pretty much where we were last time in terms of position in the table. We're sixth, but we're in the hunt for a higher position, for a Copa Libertadores position. You can see how tight it is. We're three points back from fifth. We're four points back from fourth. We're five points back from second. But at the same time, we're only five points ahead of tenth. So it's all bunched up pretty tight. I don't think at this stage, with nine games to play, we can really say we're in with a shout for the title. But, well, you know, we'll see what happens. We're playing today Universidad de Concepción. Bottom of the table, if, you can, if my head's not in the way and you can see it. Seven points from 25 games, no wins, seven draws, 18 defeats, minus 33 goal difference. 
I'm doing this so we can stop bloody drawing on the channel. Right, so this is how we are lining up. We're away from home, so I'm sticking with balanced. For now, it's been working for us recently. Herrera in goal. Echeverria and Velasquez in the centre of defence. Rodriguez and Zuinga in the full-back positions. Lobos and Lesdrup playing a bit deeper today. Thiago Race, the young Brazilian I showed you last time, is getting a start in the advanced midfield role. Bravo! This one, I don't know if I showed you this guy last time, but we picked him up on a free transfer. Christian Bravo, 28 years old. You see, he's been around a bit. He's been out and played in Spain for Granada. He's you know come in and out of Chile a couple of times. He's played in Croatia. He's played in Uruguay. Now he's back home once again. Cuevas on the other side. Mina up front. So team talk, what are we going to go with? We're going to pump our fists and say, go out there and impress me. Should we be putting the pressure on them? The recent form standings have our opponents in 18th place. We're second. Let's show them why. Yes. All right. All the interviews, all the media out of the way, and it's time to kick off this game. Can we finally get a first win on camera for Football Manager 2021? Let's see. Okay. First highlight coming in on the half hour mark. Let's see if we can get something out of this. But no, the attack breaks down. Good, we win it straight back. Mina playing some nice balls. It gets switched out to the left back. Zuyinga, he plays a ball forward. Doesn't quite work out for us. Come on, boys, let's see what we can do here. Let's win this back and get it. I'm trying out this TV view that seems to pan uh, and zoom in and out. Uh, I'm not sure I'm fully used to it yet. It might be making me a bit seasick. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what we can do. It looks like it's finally going to be a an attack for our opponents which is not what we wanted to see so close but luckily not close enough right right near the end of the first half here we're getting a little bit more action it seems let's see if we can get a quick break here mina running with the ball he skips past his defender is he going to shoot oh and that's a wonder goal his 11th goal of the season he ran half the length of the pitch with that and just blasted it past the keeper a work of art you might say, fitting in with the theme of today's episode. Look at that. The defender just couldn't get anywhere near him. He just had one thing on his mind. Tick, tick, boom. So half time, one nil it is. We were pretty flat for most of that half, though, it has to be said. I wonder if we should have gone for a more attacking tactic. Just the two shots from us, both on target, but still just two shots against the bottom team in the league. Two shots from them, nothing on target. Well... Let's get into the dressing room. I'm going to tell them that, uh, yeah, there's definitely room for improvement, but we've got to guard against complacency at the same time. We are just going to switch things up on the tactics. Just a simple switch straight over to our more positive a tactic. More attacking play is what we want to see here. Right then, 10 minutes in, we finally get a highlight. And it's a with the ball. Nice run from him, cutting inside, but we can't split the defence open with the pass. We easily win the ball back. And again, I can, you can see why Universidad de Concepcion are bottom. Cuevas with the ball. Cuevas, 18th goal of the season. Wow, out on the left wing, but playing as an inside forward. He's been lethal in front of goal. I mean, fantastic play. Look at this from Thiago Race as well. Just turns his man, knows where he wants to send that ball. Cuevas just needs one touch to control it. Places the shot past the keeper. Lovely stuff from the boys there. Okay, we've got a chance for another goal here. Rodriguez to the far post. Cuevas has his shot blocked, but we've got it. See, Zuniga was just poised there, ready to send that back in. But it goes out to his counterpart, Rodriguez. Ooh! I don't know what happened there. I assume he was trying to cross the ball. But for the goalkeeper, it was a bit too close for comfort to that near post of his. Anyway, let's see if we get something out of this still. No, it's been booted into the stands. But good bit of pressure from us. Good bit of pressure. As long as we don't concede here, I think we're going to be set up nicely for this final 30 minutes, this final stretch of the game. Mina skinning the defenders again. Oh, it looks like we're going to have a penalty review. It wouldn't be a match in this version of the game without a VAR check for a penalty. So let's go for it. And what are we going to get, referee? Are you going to award the penalty? I think you are. I think we know you are. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. 
no penalty. Interesting. So whose ball is that then? You know, if you um if you called it at that point. Anyway, let's have a corner here. Cuevas straight into the arms of Fernandez. Why that was a highlight, I've no idea. Cuevas again, whipping one in here, punched clear by the goalkeeper, and ooh, Universidad de Concepcion looking for a quick break. Now, oh, that's not good. That's not what we wanted to see. I was just about to say, as you'll have seen in the results recap, there's been a couple of games where we've had a lead, and, you know, we've ended up being pegged back, and I hope that's not going to happen here again today. So we're going to add in a demand more shout as we approach this final 20 minutes, keep the boys focused, keep their minds on the game. We just I just used the feature, the assistant manager suggested a substitution, one of my centre-backs was on a yellow, he said let's take him off. So we you know, went along with that. Easy, quick click. All right, and thinking of substitutes, I think it's time we make a couple more. So I'm going to bring on Fabrico Fernandez. He's a bit more suited to that midfield role that Lesdruk was in. Okay, we're into stoppage time. Are we finally getting a win? Are we finally going to do it? Well, there's a corner for us. We could make sure here. No, never mind. Not this time. It looks, though, like a final chance, perhaps, for our opponents. Are we going to embarrass ourselves against the bottom side in the league? I hope not. But they've sent the ball out. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I don't actually believe that at all. How the hell did that happen? What? What? Oh, my God. This team... Oh, there's no way, no way that should have been a goal. Ah, oh, it's going to be a draw again. I don't believe it. Well, I guess it's time for a back to the drawing board joke. Right then, one more match, one bonus match. We're playing the semi-final second leg in the Chilean Cup. Trying to get a win, so it's not just draw, 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 draw on the channel all the time. So we're 3-0 up from the first leg, of course. It should be a formality. Hopefully the players are still going to try and win the game. The only major absentee for us is our goalkeeper, Herrera, has been called up to the Chile squad. They're playing internationals at the moment. Apart from that, we're full strength. One good thing about the Chilean Cup, in the league, there's a rule that we have to have an under-21 player on the pitch. That rule does not apply in the Cup, so I can go for my preferred full-strength team. Okay, oh, I haven't seen this before. TV coverage, so we get the full lineup like that. We're going to get the one for Deportes Iquique as well. Nice, nice. I mean, we've had TV games in the league, but they haven't done this at the start. Anyway, let's get out there and see if we can book our place in the Chilean Cup final. If we do, that will, of course, be episode 6. No, episode 5 of this series. Right, first action on the pitch, and... Is our opponents, Desportes Iquique, coming forward. Let's see, come on boys, rob them off the ball. This is a team in poor form. They're hovering just above the relegation zone in the league. As Mina, oh nice, nice one. He fooled the keeper, made the keeper commit, and then just dinked it over him. Nice. They are struggling in the league. We've beaten them already, of course, in the first leg. We've beaten them in the league as well. But, of course, as you saw in the last game, we can't take anything for granted with this Everton team. Nothing lasts for Everton. Chance for a second here, maybe. We're 20 minutes in, so just under the halfway point in the half itself. Let's see what we can do from here. Comes to Madrid. Cuevas. Oh, Cuevas. Look at that. 19th goal of the season. He went for a shot. It was blocked, and then he just picked up the rebound and smashed it in. Oh, our opponent's looking to get one back quickly. And they've had a couple of shots blocked, and then they've bloody well scored, haven't they? It's going to be a draw again, isn't it? Well, we get to half-time with our lead intact, although we are being outperformed in the old XG, which suggests they're getting into better attacking positions than we are, at least at the moment. But then they are chasing the game, of course. They're the ones who need to pick up a big win. Uh, I'll tell them I'm not happy with their performance so far. So we've got a couple of people looking complacent. All right, a highlight for Deportes Iquique, and they've scored right at the start of the second half. They've pulled it back to 2 2. What are we going to do here? Oh, dearie me. That was a throw in, a flick on, 
and then somehow Escobar was unmarked. All right, um, this was something I found out about. If I click on the player down here, yeah, we get to change their role. We can substitute him off. He's on a 6.3, so I'm going to substitute him off. I think it's time for Christian Suarez to come on. We'll swap him over with Echeverria, if we can do that from here. Right, here we go. Lobos looking to restore our lead. He does with quite, quite a tasty free kick. It has to be said, from quite a distance out. It must be 30 yards at least. Curls that one up and over the wall. Beats the keeper. Oh, lovely stuff from Lobos. Mm, chance here for our opponents to draw it level again. And oh my god, how did he get in between the defenders there? Escobar with his hat trick. We, we have had some shocking defending here. Shocking defending. Look at that. It just bounces in front of the players. It just runs between the two defenders. Awful. Right, we've got Gonzalez on for Bravo, who's not having a good game. And I'm going to bring this youngster, Sanchez, on for Lijkuk, because he's been after more game time. And here come Deportisikike <laughs> again. Five minutes left. Don't let them score here. Oh, my God, they've done it. They've gone four, three up. Well, looks like we might not get a draw here after all. all right, so this time we have made the substitution. We have brought on Rodriguez for... Oh, sorry, Gonzalez for Bravo. We've gone attacking. I've told them to push everything forward. We're going for that draw. We want that 4-4 draw. And here's our chance to get it. Lobos swings in the corner. Sanchez with it now. Velasquez, come on, get that ball into a dangerous position. Lobos now, who scored that great free kick. Zwinga, oh, he tries to get the cross in, but he can't this time. Don't hit us on the break now. Oh my god, they are hitting us on the break now. Escobar, who's tormented us, he gets taken down. No penalty there. That's good to see. We might get through a game without a VAR review. And we've just conceded. Maybe we are going to get that VAR review after all. No, nope, we just get a straight call for offside. But we do get the VAR review. Never mind. Let's have a look. I think it's been disallowed. Good. Now let's get that equaliser. All right, this will probably be the final highlight. Only a few seconds of stoppage time remaining. We've got the ball. Come on, boys, boot it forward. You've been told to hit it long. Go for it. But they give it away. Come on, come on. Let's have some urgency. You've got your perfect record of drawing in every match on the channel to preserve. It looks like it's finally ending here in defeat. I thought we were going to pick up an easy win in at least one of these games today, or maybe even both. And oh my god, we haven't. Well, <laughs> I still celebrate at the end, because of course we have made it through to the final. What a crazy match that was. Oh, what an episode. I think, if I do my maths, 11 goals across those two games, you got your value for money today. Well, we've, we've won through to the final, even if we didn't actually win that game. 6-4 on aggregate, it's quite crazy. Well, as for who our opponents are going to be, that is not yet known. Colo Colo, Universidad de Chile, one of the big teams in the country. Well, they've still got to play their second leg. And that's coming up next week, so there's a whole week of waiting to find out. So obviously now we're going to play through a lot of league games. Now, there are two matches listed there with Universidad de Chile. That's obviously a bug. It should just be one. It could be that we end up playing them in the league and then playing them in the cup just a week later. We'll see. Or it could be another game with Colo Colo. Either way, that's our next episode. And then we'll see how the season wraps up from there. I do hope you've enjoyed this more extended episode. All those goals, another draw and a defeat. Maybe next time when we show you the cup final, we'll actually get a win. Who knows? Let me know what you think down in the comments. But for now... Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Dodgy Gamer, and I'll see you again soon.